So, Dr. Weck, let me ask you, because you talk about there would be no confusing his hands, but, uh, you know, some have suggested, well, he could have his, had his hands up, but because of the way the, the bullet entered, they could have been um, up, but from the back, you know, so he could have been moving in a different direction. When you've looked at this, do you have confidence which way his, his arms were? I, I don't like to be dogmatic, but there is only one way that this scenario plays out when you analyze the bullet wounds. There were two wounds of the arm, one in the forearm entering dorsally and exiting on the front, and the other in the upper arm entering in the front and exiting in the back. Both had an upward trajectory. Michael Brown was six foot five. Officer Wilson is six foot. The only way you have an upward trajectory is with the arm like this and the shots fired. And then you have two shots that strike Michael Brown in the chest. And they both have a downward trajectory. How do you get that with a six foot five guy being shot by a six foot guy? And then you have two wounds in the head that are parallel to the ground. When you put the body on the table, they're perpendicular. The only way you can get that is that his body is continuing to fall. The scenario is that Michael Brown was shot first in the arm. Then as he is beginning to fall, he is shot in the chest. And then he continues to fall. He is shot in the head and then he falls prone. He's 30, 35 feet away. What happened at the car is significant. Most of all, and nobody talks about this, for what was Officer Darren Wilson's attitude? Was he teed off? This kid has just struggled with me with my gun yes. and the kid is now 30, 35 feet away. He is unarmed. He's in short pants and a t-shirt. Where is this imminent threat? If he believes that this kid is a threat to his life, then how in the world can he be out there as a police officer dealing with people that have weapons, people that are really berserk, and people who really pose a serious threat. No, this is absurd scenario as far as I'm concerned in terms of Wilson's defense. All right. Thanks to all three of you.